Major John Nadden on the street across from the OXO station. I call this the Ocho OXO or the People's OXO because the OXO station two blocks that way serves the tourists at the hotels. So I call that the Tourist OXO. This is the People's OXO. It serves the kids from the high school, which is right here. It serves the nurses and doctors from the Naval Hospital, which is that white building over there. It serves the uh, sailors from the Navy base right behind us. And pay attention to the new tag on my hat because that's going to play a role in this video. So we could call this, and there's also a tag hanging here. This is Spanish lesson number 43. Wonderful words in Spanish that can be a lot of fun. And that's a student from the high school with her madre who would bat me across everything if I even looked cross-eyed and I did, I think, get a little shot of her, her legs going by, but I was just kind of waving. Now, at the Axo station, there are some pretty foxy women in there, various. Algunos, muchos. And for, I was here in January and February, and the mistake I made back then was I was too direct, too frontal, not Mexican at all, much more Norte Americano. Things like, let's go dancing. And Patty, who's in there now, is the one who told me that you go to the Zocalo section downtown. Not very far, really. You could walk, but it's an easy taxi ride, and it's quite hot these days. So she was saying, yeah, I'll, I'll go dancing with you. And uh, Mari Esther, who is adorable and very funny and very fast and very talented, uh, said, for sure, let's go dancing. But it never materialized. So this time around, it's May now, and I'm older and wiser. <laughs> I've learned, no, don't go for the clothes. Go for the fun just play divertido is play fun flirt in fun and interesting ways and it can involve very interesting spanish words now mari carmen in there who's all 19 but a lot of fun and also interested in dancing today when i was cashing a money gram I said, lipstick, you've got lipstick. That's new, isn't it? And she said, yeah, I've got lipstick. I said, wow, you look really bonita. You look really pretty with the lipstick. I said, que es la palabra por lipstick? What's the word for lipstick? She didn't quite know what I was saying even. So I looked it up in my Google Translator. And it's lapis labio. I guess labio is lips. If you accidentally mispronounce it, it's maybe <laughs> so <laughs> given that she doesn't know what labia means but i think you probably do i could get away with saying su labia as perfecta <laughs> and she said oh good thank you that's nice <laughs> yeah and then and then i switched over to celeste who's 21 i'm pretty sure a little on the shy side, but really warming up to me. She was cool at first, but now she's listening up a lot and goofing around. So I went, I needed a new hat because Patty and Mari Carmen had been making fun of my American hat, which I bought just a couple weeks ago in Orizaba, Chicago Cubs hat, my team from Chicago. It was a cheap shit hat. This one is too, but this is more fun. And I'll reveal that. Stick around. Stay till the end. You don't get the reveal on this hat until right at the end. So I got in line with Celeste and I had my Cubs hat on top of this hat. And I got, uh, went up to, bellied up to the bar and I said, Esto es americano. No, es muy interesante. And I set down the Cubs hat. And then I said, I've had one of these before. I love these. Esto es Mexicano. Gallo. I do know the word for rooster, which is gallo. So I said, cub is pequeño oso. A cub is a baby or small bear oso. 
And I said, <laughs> I, I said to Celeste, who's so innocent and sweet, Conoces la palabra en inglés por gallo? Do you know the English word for rooster? No. And I, again, I could get away with this because they had no idea of the American connotation of this. And I said, cock. It's cock. It's mio. It's mucho más mio. It's much more me than the baby bear. So I gave her the cub hat, put it right on her head. I said, "Es de tuyo." She liked that a lot. She has my hat, and I said, "You have to keep it always." And I, I'm really going to have fun with this one. I love. This is absolutely my Mexican persona: is the rooster, gallo. And just between us, we know it has another word, also, which. It's fine, I've got nothing against it. <laughs> Tell you, educar, estoy educando de ustedes. I'm teaching you Spanish and all the words you most need to know to be flirtatious and raise the temperature and go very gradually and be open-handed, not knowing what's going to happen. But if anything like what I've been fantasizing, if it comes... If it comes within one tenth of what I've been fantasizing in my van, first that's gone now, in the hotel room, and God only knows where I'm going to be tonight because that hasn't sorted out yet. I may be on the beach, but it'll be warm and it'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Mexico bonito, Mexico magico, Mexico romantico. Muy romantico.